Hey guys, we are continuing solving problems from Fundamentals of Physics by Hilary Resnick Walker, Chapter 21, and problem number 26 in this session. A current of 0 0.3 amps through your chest can send a current of 0 0.3 amps through your chest can send your heart into fi fibrillation, ruining the normal rhythm of heartbeat and disrupting the flow of blood and thus oxygen uh, to your brain. If that current persists for two minutes, how many conduction electrons pass through your chest? How many conduction electrons pass through your chest? So if a current of 0 0.3 amperes flows through your chest, a current of 0 0.3 amperes flows your, through your chest for two minutes, which is two into 10 to the power, two into 60 seconds, then we have to see how many electrons pass through your chest. If n is the number of electrons passing through your chest, then charge is equal to n times E. Every electron has a charge of E, so n electrons will have a charge of n E. So this charge is flowing through your chest. And now from my basic definition of current, we know current flowing is charge flowing per unit time divided by time taken or Q is equal to I into T or Q instead of Q we can write N E N E is equal to I into T or N is equal to I T divided by E okay I T divided by E so uh, let's substitute the values I is 0 0.3 amps T is uh, 2 minutes which means 2 into 10 to the power 60 seconds 2, oh no, no, sorry, 2 into 60 seconds, just 2 into 60, 2 into 60 seconds, divided by E is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So this means N is equal to, now this thing I have worked out already, is 22.5 into 10 to the power 19. Or we can write it this way, n is equal to 2.25 into 10 to the power 20 electrons. So this is the number of electrons passing through your chest, flowing through your chest. If current of 0 0.3 amperes flow through your chest for a time of 2 minutes, then this is the, this is huge, 10 to the power 20 is huge, is really huge, okay. Uh, 